Hey guys, my name is Pixie and this is part one of the offer wall tutorial. Now this tutorial needs to be split up into three different parts. Most of you are already familiar with Appy Builder's monetization components. We've got two Amazon components. We have three Google ad mob components. We have an in-app billing component and honestly, I'm not sure what happened with M Media. I think they got bought out by another company. Those of you who watch my videos know that I'm a huge fan of AdMob. That is my company of choice, but Google doesn't have an offer wall type of ad and none of the App Inventor platforms have an offer wall component. So I have a solution that I think is way easier. It's gonna require us going back and forth through three different websites, which is why I have broken this tutorial up into three different parts. Okay, so let's take a look at the first website. Enhance.co offers an easy way to implement multiple different ad networks into your app without doing any extra coding. The first thing you want to do, of course, is create an account on their website. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. Once you've successfully created an account, you want to go ahead and take a look at their documentation. If you have a question about this website, this is where you will find the answer. Enhance has an extension that we can download and use with Appy Builder. At the bottom, you'll see the Enhance Drag and Drop Library. Click on the drop down menu and select MIT App Inventor. Some of you might be saying, I use Appy Builder or Thunkable or Makeroid, and they are all the same thing. App Inventor is the original of those four distributions. As soon as you select the App Inventor option, a little dialog box pops up for you to download the free Enhance extension. Open up your downloads folder and double click the zip file. We've got a demo project folder, the AIX file, which is the extension that we're going to use, and we also have a README file. If you click on the folder, you'll see another AIA file that you can import into Appy Builder. The README file is actually just a text version of how to use the blocks that come with the extension. I think it's actually easier to read straight from the documentation on the website. We're going to use an offer wall, so if you click on the offer walls and then select MIT App Inventor, you can see the code examples of how to use these blocks. I'm going to keep these files in the downloads folder, but make sure that you extract the zip file anywhere on your computer. I'm going to keep a copy in my downloads folder as well. All right, we are going to come back here in just a second, so leave this tab open and head on over to Appy Builder. We're going to start with the bare minimum so you can see what this looks like. Design the screen however you want, it doesn't matter. I'm going to set the alignments to center center, and I'm using the same background that I use for all of these tutorials. To test this out, all we need is a label, a button, and a notifier component. It doesn't matter what the label looks like. I'm not even going to bother renaming it because it's just here for testing purposes. The only thing I'm going to do is delete the text that's in this label. I'm also not going to bother styling this button. It's just here for testing purposes. You can make it look pretty later on. But I will change the text to say open up offer wall. You can leave the defaults for the notifier component or change them if you want, it doesn't matter. And the last thing we need to do for this design is add the extension that we downloaded from the Enhance website. Click on Import Extension and then click on Browse. Go to your Downloads and open up the Unzipped folder and double click on the AIX file. Then select Import. Make sure you drag this component onto the design. This is a non-visible component and it has no properties to change. So we are done with the design. Let's move on to the blocks editor. First, we need to create the button1.click event and make our blocks look just like they do in the documentation. The example usage says, when we click on this button, if the offer wall is ready, then show the offer wall. Otherwise, show an error message. And when the user receives a reward, show the reward amount. So let's create this condition in our button.click event. For this condition, we need an if statement and an else statement. Now click on the enhance extension. You can see there are a ton of events and a ton of procedures. We won't be using all of these. Remember that enhance does more than just help you make an offer wall. It can do a whole bunch of different things, which is why we have a whole bunch of different events and procedures. We, of course, are only making an offer wall, so we only need a couple of these procedures. So thumb through these until you find enhance connector dot is offer wall ready and set this procedure as your condition. 
open up the extension again and look for enhance connector dot show offer wall. The first procedure returns a true or false value. So if the offer wall is ready, meaning if this is true, then we'll show the offer wall. Otherwise, if it's not ready, meaning if this is false, we need to let the user know that the offer wall isn't ready using a notification message. We can do that with the notifier component. We'll just pop up a little alert that says, offer wall is not ready, please check back again in a minute. I'll keep this notification at the bottom and use alert type three, which indicates that this is an error message. Now open up the extension one more time and look for the enhance connector dot currency granted event. What we could do is pop up another notification that shows the amount of currency received. However, the offer wall is actually above our notification, so the user might not actually see this notification message. What I'm gonna do instead is output to the test label. Use a join block to set label1.text to the current value of label1.text plus a line break and a little message. So if I click on five different offers, what I want to see is that you've earned X amount of picks five different times in the same label. We have to do a couple more things to actually get this to work. First thing is to actually build the app as it is, even though it doesn't look pretty. Click on build and save the APK to my computer. That shouldn't take too long. Just make sure you know where the APK is stored on your computer. I'm gonna keep mine in the downloads folder. We're done here for now. We need to go back to the Enhanced website, so let's head on over there. If you're still stuck on the documentation, this little icon does not bring you back to the homepage, unfortunately, but there is a link back home in the top right corner. Back on the homepage, click on the big green button that says Enhance My App. There are a ton of options. Again, we're going to focus on only what we need for this tutorial. Since we're making an offer wall, we're going to select the offer wall option. We're not going to worry about analytics because the offer wall website that we use in part two has some built in analytics. So skip this part, scroll down and skip the other section and skip the payment section. Of course, you can come back here at any time and play around with all of these options. That just means you're going to have to spend some time on your own reading the documentation. But as you saw earlier, it's really easy to understand. In the drag and drop library, we need to select the App Inventor option. This green button will let you download the extension file again. Obviously, we already downloaded that zip file earlier, so we don't need to do that again. Scroll down to the bottom and click on the big red button that says select file to upload. We're gonna upload the APK file that we just created two minutes ago. Once the upload completes, click on continue. The Enhanced website has six different SDKs that you can use. I think OfferToro was the easiest to set up. The only thing is I wasn't a huge fan of the way that it looked but it would be my second choice of these six. Now my personal favorite was actually Tapjoy. In order to use Tapjoy, we're going to need to create a placement name and an SDK key. If you click on OfferToro, you see we need an app ID and a secret key. So each one of these options requires something different. If you click on the little question mark icon beside one of these requirements, it will tell you exactly where to find this information. To get an SDK key, for example, it says right here, we need to go to the Tapjoy website, click on settings, then app settings, and that's where we're gonna find the SDK key. All right, so take some time right now. Check out all of these different websites. Maybe you already have a Fiber account. Maybe you prefer to use OfferToro. As I said, I really like Tapjoy. So in part two, I'm gonna show you how to set up your account on the Tapjoy website and how to get these two pieces of information so we can finish enhancing our app with an offer wall. We're done with part one, but keep this tab open because we're gonna need to finish this setup. Visit my Patreon page where you can find out more about being part of the Pixie Bomb Squad. Check out the Appy Builder community where you can get help on projects you're currently working on and find more tips and tutorials created by community members. That's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and have a great day. Bye!